The problem with norovirus is it's a viral infection that affects your gastrointestinal system. So people with norovirus, they get very sick to their stomach, they have lots of nausea and vomiting, and they have lots of diarrhea. By consequences of that, they can get their electrolytes off, they can lose potassium in their diarrhea, and they can even die from this infection if they are quite old and become dehydrated. It can cause kidney problems and other problems with different organs. The norovirus is a highly contagious virus, and that's the problem with it. It is a virus that is spread where people gather and food is served. So anytime someone is sick and thinks that they may have norovirus, they need to stay home. They don't want to go to work and prepare food for other people because this is a very um, virulent virus in that it can live for up to two weeks on surfaces. It can survive being frozen. It can survive temperatures up to 140 degrees. Um, decontamination is not near, uh, nearly enough. So the important things are, if you're sick, stay home. Don't fix food for other people. And you need to wash your hands, just like your mother told you when you were at home. It's important that every time you use a restroom, you wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. That saying of sing happy birthday two times through is the perfect amount of time, making sure that you pay a lot of attention to covering all of your hands. The reason I say that the norovirus is highly contagious is that it only takes 18 viral particles to cause an individual to have an infection. There are enough viral particles on the head of a pin to infect a thousand people. So if your child is ill and they're having nausea and vomiting and diarrhea, number one, you need to keep them home. And everybody in your family needs to start washing their hands with particular attention. Almost wash them more than you normally would. But definitely, anytime you've handled anything for that sick child. And then make certain that the child is washing their hands a great deal so that if they touch toys, touch food that is being served to someone else, they don't give them the virus.